Hey, what's up, Free Hill Lifers? Telly Tay checking in. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about our beloved friend, the G3 Targa. Now, first of all, this is probably the number one selling Tele binding of all time. This was produced from about 1999 until 2015. So it had a really great run as far as being available in shops, online, all that good stuff. Brand new, in the box, replacement parts, all that stuff was available. As of right now, that is not the case. These have not been made in a long time. Replacement parts have not been made in a long time, which means if you break anything, like this pair here with a broken cable, it's going to be tough to replace. Now, another piece that might break is heel levers. Heel levers, I've got an option for a replacement part that is the Bluebird Day Gear Aluminum Universal Fit Heel Lever. This works with Targas, this works with 22 Designs, Volley, Black Diamond, Rotafella. Universal Fit, great option to replace old, brittle plastic pieces, but if we have a cable break on the Targa binding, we're going to have some issues of can't find them, maybe have to buy a used pair of bindings to have kind of a full parts kit. Some of us might want to go through that to milk a couple more seasons out of our Targas, but we are definitely left in a spot of, okay, I've skied this binding forever, what do I do? First of all, feel is very important to tele skiers. A lot of you Targa skiers, you love the feel. It's neutral flexing. It's a pretty simple design. It produces a certain feel in the turn, which is very important for tele skiers. So what are my options? I can upgrade everything, boots and bindings, and maybe I can find an NTN system that might work for me. Option two is I can just upgrade the binding. You might have a great pair of 75 millimeter compatible tele boots that you're not ready to get rid of, they're comfortable, they've got plenty of life left in them, whatever that may be, we do have options. I would propose the Vole Switchback as our best option if that Targa feel is very important to you as a tele skier. A couple reasons why this Vole is going to be a great option. Number one, it's got a touring mode, so that's a cool new feature that I'm getting something extra for upgrading my binding. The touring mode on these Volley switchbacks is super easy to use. Flip that over with our ski pole, and the whole binding pivots freely without tensioning the springs so that I can just walk up a skin track if I am touring in the backcountry or earning my turns, however that may be. I've got a touring mode on the switchback. Second thing why I think the Volley switchback is a great upgrade is the hard wire connection versus a soft cable. So Volley uses a hard wire connection, which means I have more lateral stability as I get that ski on edge, which means for me as a skier, as I'm trying to translate energy into my skis and into the snow, the hard wire connection allows me to have a little bit more control. I can drive that ski a little bit better and that is a great upgrade from a performance standpoint. Third thing is, this is a in-production binding. This is produced every single season. We've got parts readily available. So if you break something, it's not a headache to replace, to search through Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, freehilllife.com, used parts, wherever that may be, I don't really have to go do too much digging to get a replacement part. The switchback can be a great option, especially when we're talking about that feel of the binding and the activity. So if we look at activity, which is basically where my binding is pivoting. So in relation to my toe of my boot, to the end of my heel, to the ball of the foot, to the pivot position. So the Volley switchback is pivoting where these hardwire hooks fit in. If we looked at a Targa in terms of where that binding is pivoting and where that binding is flexing, 
it's in a very similar spot. So for me, that means as a skier, as I get into a turn, my boot and binding are flexing at a certain pivot point, which is the activity of the binding, which goes a lot, has a lot to do with the feel of the binding. Target and switchback are both very neutral feeling bindings. So there's my take on what do I do when my target is dead. As always, if you've got any questions, call, text, email, DM us on our social channels. However you want to get a hold of us, we're happy to provide advice and help you get into something new. If you like the content we're putting out, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you've got any suggestions on what type of content you'd like to see in the future. Spread Telemark always. I'll see you next time.